talk about your forecast for your Friday. Thankfully, no kind of weather like this on the horizon. Yeah, no, thankfully, uh, no severe weather storms in the forecast for right now. We do have the potential of seeing some strong, severe storms Sunday night, something to look out for. But before then, we have been dealing with some record breaking heat yesterday and today. Yesterday broke records. Today we broke another record. 84 degrees was our high today, and it's just the beginning of March, and we should be around the 50s, and so we are well above average for this time of year. So we've had two days of perfect weather, clear blue skies, and warm temperatures, but what's next? We do have clouds starting to increase as we go throughout the next few hours. Rain chances will start to move in on Saturday. The difference between Saturday and Sunday is that Saturdays is basically just going to be some on and off rain, scattered rain showers, and then Sundays when we do have the potential of seeing some strong to severe storms develop, and Sunday is the day where we could see the heavier downpours. And so we'll talk about that a little later. But tonight, though, no rain in the forecast. We have temperatures in the 50s. Right now we're at 50 degrees in Fayetteville and 48 degrees in Waldron at this hour. The winds are pretty calm right now. And the reason why I'm showing you this is because this time tomorrow, the winds will start to pick up. We're going to have winds up to about 10 to 15 miles per hour, but the gust will reach up to 25 miles per hour. So it's going to get pretty breezy as we go throughout our Friday. And this warm front is, is what to blame because it will bring those south winds digging up from uh, the Gulf of Mexico. And that's where we're going to see the winds pick up just a little bit. Clouds are already increasing into our western counties at this hour. And the reason why we're going to see rain Saturday and Sunday is because of this cold front that's right now pushing through Idaho and parts of Wyoming and Montana at this hour. You can't see much rain on there right now, but the rain will start to form as it moves across the central plains into our area. So rain chances do go up Saturday into Sunday. Like I said, Saturday is just on and off rains, very scattered. And then Sunday is when we could see the strongest of your storms across our area. Kind of going through the future cast with you, you can see tomorrow morning, cloudy skies, temperatures in the 50s, highs tomorrow. So today we are in the 80s, tomorrow only be in the 70s. That cloud cover will keep temperatures a little cooler. So only the 70s for our highs tomorrow. And then Saturday, that's when the rain chances start to arrive. So Saturday afternoon, I think that's when most of us will have some scattered rain showers across the area. And then Saturday, you can see not much. And then when we move into Sunday, all this yellow and all this green moves into our area later on to the evening hours on Sunday and continues into our Monday morning as well. This is where you can see some strong to severe storms. It's about four days out right now. The Storm Prediction Center has already highlighted our area for the potential of seeing some strong to severe storms. If one or two storm does turn strong to severe, all modes of severe weather be possible, including large hail, damaging winds, and a tornado or two. Uh, mainly across the area where you see they have highlighted the orange, central Arkansas, and parts of the River Valley. Another thing to worry about on Sunday is not just severe weather, but we could see some flooding in some areas because this is from Saturday into Monday. You can see one to three inches is possible, so heavier downpours leading to some flooding is possible as we head throughout Sunday evening. Something to watch out for, but other than that, though, we are going to have a big drop in temperatures Sunday into Monday thanks to that cold front pushing through. So we're going to go back from the 70s to the 50s, but the 50s is where we should be the time, this time of year, so it seems cooler, but 50s is actually normal for this time of year. All right, Michelle, this afternoon, our